Every image you've seen of a black hole, including this one, is now science fiction. Astronomers have successfully snapped the first genuine picture of a black hole. Black holes on their own don't look like very much. Um, they don't reflect light because any light that falls into them can never escape, and they don't emit any light that we can detect. Those aren't the only reasons black holes are hard to photograph. Even though they're really, really massive, they can be millions or billions of times the mass of the sun, they don't take up that much space on the sky. They've compressed all that mass into a really tiny little space. The closest big black hole to Earth is at the center of the Milky Way, which is 26,000 light years away from us. And so in order to be able to see something that, of that size, uh, we need a telescope that has a resolution that is powerful enough that it could see a donut on the surface of the moon. The black hole illustrations we're all familiar with aren't complete lies. Plenty of data suggests that black holes exist. Some even shoot jets into space that we can see and spaghettify stars that get too close. So far, the best evidence for these behemoths has been their entourage. They wrap huge amounts of gas and then like charged plasma around them. And as that stuff is trying to fall into the black hole, it can't all go in at once. So it orbits super, super, super fast. And the friction in that fast orbiting keeps it white hot. Most illustrations focus on this accretion disk. But now we're looking at the real deal, thanks to the Event Horizon Telescope, or the EHT. This monumental first image features the black hole at the center of a galaxy called M87. At more than 50 million light years from Earth, it's farther away than the black hole at the center of the Milky Way, but more massive. That makes it easier to image. The picture shows the shadow of the black hole on the glowing gas and plasma in the accretion disk. The black hole's shadow creates a silhouette on the disk that outlines the point of no return, the event horizon. Taking such a picture requires a really, really big telescope. The EHT uses a lot of smaller radio telescopes instead. They work together using a technique called very long baseline interferometry, and what that does is it makes those telescopes kind of act like one giant telescope. Scientists analyzing the data can see how the light waves detected by each telescope line up with each other to figure out what's light from the edge of the black hole and what's noise. The EHT's first image gives us an up-close look at the accretion disk plus two key bits of information, the size and shape of the black hole shadow. And then that will be enough to answer a lot of interesting astrophysical questions about how black holes work, how event horizons work, what is going on there. The big questions include, how exactly do accretion disks form and feed black holes? Where do black hole jets originate? And the oldie but always a goodie, was Einstein right? His general theory of relativity predicted that event horizons could conceal tiny massive objects like black holes. The shape of this image that we see is something that you can predict using general relativity. The EHT's close-up doesn't defy Einstein. Our understanding of gravity still holds. But there will be more to come. The team hopes to take better and better images of M87's black hole and others, including the one at the center of the Milky Way, Sagittarius A star. Those images might have something new to say about general relativity, as well as the physics theory that deals with very small objects, quantum mechanics. The two of them don't play well together. We don't understand how gravity works on sort of quantum levels. And if we see something that differs from our expectation, that could help point us to one of many theories that try to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. It's also just cool. Whether it's a pale blue dot or a pristine portrait of Pluto, seeing has always offered us a new perspective on the universe. Humans are very visual, and so we love having images, and I think having an actual picture of a black hole is just gonna blow people's minds. Hi, I'm Helen, I make videos here at Science News. 
If this video looks a little bit familiar to you, it's because we released a version a few weeks ago. At the time, we thought that the EHD's first image would be of Sagittarius A star, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. But it turned out to be of M87's black hole instead. So we decided to release a new version of the video with the new results. The EHT still hopes to get an image of Sagittarius A star, it just won't be the first image of a black hole ever released. Am I gonna like break continuity if I roll up my sleeves? No, I'm gonna start this one over, this is hard. I was just watching the Great British Baking Show last night. Um, they were the same clothes two days in a row. We'll go there, yeah. I feel like it's wrong. Sorry, yeah, you can cut that. <laughs> so don't roll up your sleeves. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs>